mamlaka ya hifadhi ya Ngorongoro ambayo imepewa majukumu makubwa matatu ya kuendeleza utalii, kuendeleza I mean, kuendelea kuhifadhi mali asili, kuendeleza wenyeji jamii ya Kimasai ambao wako ndani ya hifadhi ya Ngorongoro. Uh, imeona kuna haja ya kutengeneza investment ya jengo hili ili jengo limewekwa lime, lime kwa makusudi mazima kabisa kama kitega uchumi kwa ajili ya kujinusuru nyakati zile ambazo kunakuwa labda na tuseme low season ambapo hamna wageni kwa kiwango kile kinachotegemewa au magonjwa yale ya milipuko kwa mfano Ebola au terrorism attacks hizi hivi vitisho miaka ya nyuma vimesababisha wageni kusuasua sasa management pamoja na bodi yake imeona kuna haja ya kuwa na kitega uchumi ambacho kita generate fedha ya kufanya hizo shughuli kubwa tatu mimi naitwa engineer Kahena kazi yangu hapa ni clerk of works yani ni msimamizi wa shughuli zote za za ujenzi zinavyoendelea kwa manufaa ya mwenye mali ndani na mwakilisha ngorongoro kuhakikisha kwamba mkandarasi majukumu yake yote anayotekeleza specifications michoro kila kilichoko kwenye BOQ kinafanyika kama kilivyo naweza nikasema mimi ni watchdog au ni askari na nachunguza kuhakikisha kwamba shughuli zote zinafanyika kama inavyotakiwa na kutoa report kinachofanyika kibaya na kisimamisha on spot na kuambia badilisha na wakinigomea natoa taarifa kwa ma, kwa wahusika na mara nyingi naandika barua kama kuna shida na taarifa wa kubwa zangu namaandikia consultant natoa kopi kwa bosi wangu NCA ambaye ni dadaliri yani kwa sasa na na saito na engineer mankunda basi wanajua kinachoendelea My name is Yan from Kadik. I'm the site manager. Now we are we are finished finishing the tiles and the ceiling tiles and also some uh, skimming and external cladding and also aluminium we are starting currently. Then for challenges we are we are facing the coordination of all our teams subcontractors sub and all services with us so they are tired this because it's too much coordination yeah client consultant and us and uh, we are hopefully to complete the project as required time we are planned on July we try our best to finish that that month kazi kwa sasa eh, kuna kitu tunaitwa tunaita superstructure superstructure yani unavyoona kazi yote ya zege nguzo eh, floors yani slab na mabimu na nini kazi ya nondo tumefikia 99%. Utaona tumeanzia juu ghorofa ya 15 na rufu yake ambayo tunaita ghorofa ya 16 au rufu ya ghorofa ya 15 yote kazi ya zege imemalizika. Hii 1% ambayo imebaki ni ili shimo ambayo sehemu ya wazi hii ambayo imetoka chini wazi mpaka juu ambayo tunakuja kuifunika na rufu structure ya vyuma hiyo kwa hiyo ndio tunaenda same vidogo vidogo kwa ngine baada ya sasa kija kwenye shughuli ya external cladding external cladding yani urembo wa nje ya jengo utakavyokuwa eh vigao vimeshawekwa upande wa mashariki na upande wa magharibi alibia asilimia ambaye ni hivi ya upande wa magharibi wa mashariki imeshafanyika na upande wa magharibi wako wako nyuma kidogo kama asilimia 20 na kitu hivi kazi ya vyo ambayo inaitwa window curtain material yamesha yameshafika Dar es Salaam. Kwa hiyo walisema kwamba mwishoni mwe, mwezi wa pili au mwezi wa tatu yanakuwa yameshafika hapa kwa ajili ya kufungwa vyo. Hii kazi ya nje 
Tuna sema external cladding, hii ndiyo sample. Eh, this is a sample for external cladding. Kwa mba wataka pumaliza yote taonekana kama hivi. Eh, hii ndiyo mepitishwa kwa mba kote nje kutakuwa hivi. Na fasi unazo ziona, ha, unaona hizi marumaru zinafunika maviu maya. Na fasi unaona za madirisha zote ni vio kutoka juu kuja chini. Yeah, Zinaitua curtain wall. Kwa hiyo napuona tofauti na hizi marumaru kuna kuona vio. Shukuri zingine zinazo enderea vigae vya chini. Utaona tumeanza gorofa ya kumi na gorofa ya tisa. Hizo zina enderea. Vigae vya ukutani tumesha fanya vio vio kutoka gorofa ya yote tumesha mariza vile vigayo vya ukutani kwa ajili ya vyo alafu kazi ya siring kazi ya siring inaendelea kwenye apartments zote eh, apartment rooms um, apartment floors ambazo ni gorofa nne kutoka gorofa ya 12 paka ya 15 zote tumesha weka blundering kwa ajili ya siring preparation this is floor number 10 This is the office floor. You know, as I told you, from 12 floor to 15 floor, those are apartments for the visitors, the rooms, apartment rooms. Yeah. This is floor number 13. Oh, 13 floor and the uh, the mock-up room has been selected to be prepared here. So this is the mock-up room. It represents all the rooms, how they will look like after completion. And it has been selected to be this, so that each one can say, ah, this is not good, this is good, change this, change this. After it is accepted and approved, then all the rooms will be made the same that is the meaning of mock-up so that whenever you after you agree that it, this is the sample we want then the rest will be done according to this that is the proposed cupboard there are the shelves big big space down there for bags and the suitcases hanger for hanging what what and at the top there is a provision of uh, putting other things This is the washroom or the toilet for the, the, the for the apartment room. Here there will be jacuzzi and uh, the toilet WC. That is the sink if I can say. That is the provision for the machines. The 11th floor is for services. 10th floor downwards. These are the offices. Letable, we call letable offices. This is uh, the rails for suspended ceiling. And the, the ceiling, the type of ceiling here is different from the hotels. The hotels is gypsum type and you have seen the timbers. Now offices kushuka chini kama mlivyoona na sample tulivyoonyesha siri zinaendelea na wapo wanakushuka mpaka kufika chini kama tulivyosema goro, kuanzia gorofa ya ya kumi kushuka chini ni offices zote zinafanana kinachofanyika kinacho gorofa ya kumi ndiki hiki hiki kinafanyika gorofa ya tisa hii naweza kuona shughuli ya kuweka marumaru za chini zinaendelea na juu preparation ya siri yote imeshafanyika kama kule. Ndio, yeah, hao ni mafundi wanaendelea kuweka vigai. Gorofa ya 11 kama nilivyoelezea, yenyewe hakuna kisiri. Yenyewe kama nilivyoona, yenyewe inaitwa service floor, ni floor ya kuweka mashini za ICT za kuzima. 
Majengo mengine unaona mamashine ma yamewekwa kwenye roof. Roof eh. Sasa kwa jengo hili yote yako hapa. Katika ufungaji wa lift na escalator. Material yote yapo sasa hivi. Material escalator yako njiro. Maana ni mavyuma marefu makubwa na site yetu imebana kwa hiyo wao walienda yamewekwa njiro. Lakini lift zote lift tunazo tatu katika jengo hili. Lift zote zimesha fungu. Mmeona? Mmeona lift namba moja, mpiga picha, mmeona lift namba mbili, mmeona lift namba tatu. Wanachokifanya hawa subcontractor wa lift ambaye anaitwa Seki, ana anaanda nazo zote kwa pamoja. Anafunga zote, ana, yani akifika tu fulani, anaenda nyingine, anataka aende nazo zote concurrent. We have got three lifts in this building. Now this is the second one. The machines are already installed and they are on progress. All the three machines are on progress. This is lift number one. As you can see, all the lifts, the machines are already installed and they are continuing fixing the bracket through the, the lift vault. This is lift number three. We have, we have seen two. Yeah, so this is the third one and the last one. As I told you, we have got three lifts. Escalator kama nilivyoonyesha kwenye shimo lile la wazi kule chini. Escalator wanashindwa kwa sababu escalator ma, kazi nyingi bado mmeona hapa katikati sehemu ya wazi shughuli nyingi zinafanyika. Kwa hiyo wanatakiwa kuwe na usalama kule. Zike wao wana concentrate na lift sasa hivi. Kisha maliza escalator wana wanamalizia escalator. These are the, the subcontractor dealing with lift installation and escalator. We will show you where the escalator is going to be so installed. So this is lift number two as we, we, we saw it, the machine at the top. Now they are going on. Yeah. This is the ground floor. The ground floor, the escalator will be here. This is the pit for the escalator. Escalator will be moving from here, ground floor, up to the second floor. And this is the void for, for the escalator. Kwa hiyo watu watakuwa na, wanapelekwa gorofa ya piri. Kutokea hapa. Electric installation, hii nafanywa na subcontractor, anaitua Central Electrical. Yupo kazini, kama mulivyoona, wamegawana katika floor mbali mbali, umeona wanavuta waya, wengine wanafunga cable tray. Hawa, unawa, wana, wanye, wanye koti nye kundu ni watu wa umeme. Wanaendelea na kufu, kufuta waya. Wanaweka waya ni. Watu wa AC, umeona, umeona madakit. Yanaonekana yare. Yari ma, ma, ma aluminium stainless steel na stainless steel duct season. So teizu wa mefunga pamoja na mapaipu yari muna yoona ya rangi nye usi. Hayo ni kwa ajili ya drainage ule unyevu unyevu wa maji. Unaotoka kwenye AC, unapita mule, unaongozo mpaka kupereko kwenye duct na kushushwa chini. These are the ducts for the AC subcontractors. Mandalizi ya rangi ya nafanyika. Kuta zote zinapigwa skimming kwa ajili ya utayari wa kuwa na kupigwa rangi. Subcontractor wa mabomba, plumbing subcontractor anaitwa jinde. Mutaona mabomba yote ya maji ya mvua ambayo anachukua maji ya mvua kutoka rufu hapa. Ma, mabomba ya maji masafi, ma, mabomba ya maji taka, mabomba ya firefighting. Yare ambayo mekundu ya chuma. Mbomba yote ya, ya, ya chuma ni kwa ajili ya firefighting. Ni kwa ajili ya kwa taki fire eh, napotokea. Yote ya mefungwa na matinzuri umeona tumekuonyesha sources za maji. Tumekuonyesha kwamba jengo hili tuna sources mbili za maji. Tuna maji ya bomba na kutoka awasa. Alafu kuna maji ya chini ya rithini ya kisima ambayo tayari kisima kina exist. Na ndiyo ya tumika katika jengo hili. Hapa sasa kuna matenki ya maji, ulikuwa umeuliza maji. Maji yote ya jengo hili, matenki yanakuwa huku. Unaona haya mabomba yamekuja yametezama ya huku yanakuja kuchukua maji. Ha, ha, ili bomba ni bomba kuu linalochukua maji ya paya, yanapeleka juu. Na mabomba mengine yale yanakuja. Kazi ya ujenzi wa matofali. Yaani kazi yoyote unayoona wanajenga tofali. 
kazi ya matofali ilishaisha wakapiga plasta instruction imekuja hivi karibuni kutoka kwa consultant kwa ajili ya kuziba hizi garbage chute na kutengeneza corridor ya kuongoza eh, public kwenda kwenye public toilet hizo ndizo unaona watu wanazijenga lakini vinginevyo ingekuwa viko kwenye mtoto tangu awali tungekuwa tumesha tungekuwa tumesha malizi plastering naweza kusema utaona jengo rote wanapiga plaster sipokuwa ndogo ndogo naweza kusema asilimia karibu 90 95 plastering tumesha malizi you can see other walls have been completed a long long time ago but this is new because this is a new instruction we have got this instruction i think this is the third of the third week yeah about the third week we got instruction from the many the many consultant to 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 to, to seal the garbage chute and to make the corridor for the for people to go to the public toilets garbage chute garbage chute kama tunaweza sema tunavyo tulivyoiona unavyoona mirango hiyo ni kutoka kila floor kuna kimlango hicho eh kila floor kuna kimlango hicho takataka zote za floor this is what we call garbage chute this is it is lockable so now it is locked it is ever it is in another floor every floor someone comes with rubbish he opens the door the window the other door he put it whenever whenever the, he he opens this door all other doors are closed automatically whenever you close it others can operate but if you are opening it for use no one can can open the other floors so it is like that yeah, this is coming from india and the specialist who came to install it came from india so he went back to india now he is waiting to come in in april march or april for the final fix na hii floor ya nne ni retable shops eh yeah. ya distribution ya floors tumetoka ghorofa ya 10 tunasema office 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 sasa hizi ni retable shops maduka eh kwa hiyo tena itaji eh mr yan the so this is the very important we can say from second first and the ground Th th these are i think the most three important floors yeah this as even in the hand room even the hand room is different it's the five meters but the others are just four so this hand room they have got many activities there is a restaurant in a restaurant kitchen but at the back the toilet are the same and there is we can say what count or what people will be resting will be will be sitting having drinks you know this area is going to be covered this area is going to be covered by that roof we we we, we told you the sloping roof now this is the sitting area people will be sitting drinking looking how the the town is so people will be drinking eating looking in golongoro tv looking the, with the animals yes this is a very very good area vitu vingine ambavyo vitakuwa hapa vitakuwa na mabenki utakuwa na na mabenki eneo hili hata ngorongoro information center iko hapa it is located here eh yeah, itakuwa eneo hili yes mabenki yes This is the, the entrance. Kosa entrance inakuwa pande pande utaonyesha kule na na huku. Kwa hiyo watu watakuwa na panda hapa. Wanapanda ngazi kuingia ndani lakini wenzetu wale mavu. So this is the ramp for the disabled and this is the steps. Uh, here We are going down to the basement you will see this is the ramp from the basement because the parking cars will be down there so this this is the way the cars to go in or to go out